Welcome back to Marriage Isn't Dead. I'm Scotty G. I'm a relationship and career coach with over 20 years of experience in happy marriage, dating, and successful businesses. My mission is to help you all achieve success in life and love through self-improvement. Guys are really simple if you just boil it down. So what do men really want from a woman? That's a classic question that you hear about, and I see it often in relationship groups like mine and throughout the web. Uh, I've been in the relationship sphere for about five years now, and it really is all over the place when it comes to advice uh, for people that are seeking it, that are people that are giving it. How do you sift through the nonsense? And I like to dumb things down to get it at the visceral level, analyze it, to the point where it's simplified. And that's what I'm going to do with this episode. Now, I'm going to use a little bit of humor in this episode. So if you're easily offended, this is your chance to move on from this episode. But stick around. Hopefully, you'll learn something with this one. I want to keep this one light. And it's meant to be fun, but it's going to be informative. So many people say marriage is dead. And men don't really need a wife and vice versa. Honestly, that's one of the main reasons why I started this organization. Uh, I've been a coach for for years now, but uh, this organization is pretty recent. Up until about a couple months ago, this didn't exist. And for those of you who have been watching my material, I really, really thank you from the bottom of my heart. We're just getting started with this, and I will be around a very, very long time trying to help whomever is willing to listen. So the folks that say marriage is dead and men don't really need a wife or if women say you don't need a husband. So then what? Are you just going to date into perpetuity? You're just going to stay single? Is that is that the end goal here? Honestly, I'm not a big fan of that thinking and it is very, very short sighted. So let's think long term here. I just don't agree with that thinking. And honestly, when it comes to that message, good luck with that With when it comes to the vast majority of the population. Most people, and I can speak as a man, we have a drive to connect with women. But I do recognize that things have changed dramatically in the dating sphere and in modern dating and modern marriage over the last couple decades. There's a class of men out there on the planet that I use often in some of my material. They're called herbivore men. It's pretty common in Japan, apparently, where a lot of men are not interested in relationships with women at all. Go ahead and Google herbivore men in Japan, and you can check it out for yourself. In that realm, AI sex robots are actually pretty big business and it's a pretty big future for Japan, which is really sad in my opinion, but uh, coming to a country near you in some cases, I mean, that's the the logic out there and perhaps maybe, but uh, this, this channel is not devoted to herbivore men, obviously. So let's talk about the three S's and what men want. I've heard this before in some of the content out there, and I do agree with it. It's actually pretty simple. What men want, there are three S's. And let's start with the first one. Number one, sex. That's the obvious S. Yes, men think about sex a bunch. Testosterone is a blessing and a curse. Obviously, sex is an outsourced resource. We need women to have kids and have a physical relationship with someone. And masturbation only goes so far. Right, fellas? Are we mindless sex machines? No. But we do care about having physical relationships with women. So sue us. It's a natural desire to physically connect with the opposite sex. Talk about heterosexual relationships here, obviously. So number one. Sex, the obvious S. (laughs) There's your bumper sticker. Number two, sandwiches. Now, before you break out the pitchforks and torches on this one in the comments, hear me out, okay? I'm not claiming that women need to be barefoot and pregnant in the kitchen. That is not what I'm saying. My wife is a professional 
she's an entrepreneur, she's my business partner. I don't think that way. But men are programmed to provide and protect those that he loves. We're programmed to do that evolutionarily. In return, men love to be cared for in the process. That's what we're talking about when we're talking about sandwiches, okay? Yes, one way to take care of your man is to cook for him. Right? Am I wrong? It's okay. It seems to me that I've, in my relationship coaching, I've talked to plenty of guys that cook. It goes both ways. But that is one way to take care of your man. Right? Can men cook for themselves? Yeah, for sure. So the old saying that I've heard more than once is uh, the way to keep a man is to fill his stomach and empty his balls. <laughs> okay. Uh, vulgar, yes. True, yes. Very true. So that's a joke for y'all with the pitchforks and torches, okay? Let's keep it light. If you want to roast me in the comments, be my guest. It's all good. So that's number two, sandwiches. So number one was sex. Number two is sandwiches. And number three, silence. This is the one that will light the torches on fire and start the burn baby burn chants. Okay, I get it. <laughs> Does that, do, am I telling women to keep their mouth shut? Do you, do you really think I'm trying to tell women to totally be silent? Come on, y'all. That's not what I'm saying. What does that mean? It means... He doesn't want to be nagged, shamed, or ridiculed. That's what that means, especially in public. It's one thing to do that behind closed doors, but when it comes to public, nagging, shaming, ridicule, men don't like that. They don't like that. It's disrespectful, and honestly, when it comes to having a relationship with someone, respect is everything. And that goes both ways, men and women. You need to respect each other to make it work. If you don't respect your partner, tenants, you have a tendency to not get along very well, correct? Men who are good providers want a soft place to land at the end of the day. Say, for instance, your, your guy is a business owner. He's dealing with the public. He's dealing with difficult people all day long. The last thing he needs when he comes home is a difficult woman to live with. That's what we're talking about when it comes to silence, okay? Men love peace. We like it when things are peaceful. When your life is at level 11 constantly, it, it wears on guys. Now, a lot of guys can be very stoic. I'm one of them. Teflon and titanium is my saying. I made a Teflon, nothing sticks to me, and I made a titanium, nothing breaks me. But when it's constantly at level 11, people have their limits. And eventually, you're going to have enough. And fights will ensue, and conflict will ensue. That's what we're talking about when it comes to silence. Okay, And honestly, ladies... You probably want the same thing from your man, correct? You don't want your house to be filled with chaos. So you, you look to your guy to be the enforcer, for one. And a lot of guys don't mind being the bad guy when it comes to parenting, especially. So women, they like the same thing from their man. They want calm. They want collective. They want a guy that, that deals with, with stuff and makes decisions and smooths things over. That's what we're talking about with silence. If a dude lays into his wife about not doing the dishes after she comes home from work, especially if she's the breadwinner, how's she going to feel, right? That's, it, goes, it goes for both sexes, all right? It goes both ways. So when it comes to silence, basically he wants a woman in his life to make his life easier, not harder. Let me repeat that because that is so important. A high quality guy wants a woman in his life to make his life easier, not harder. That's not a lot to ask for. Okay, so let's go over them one more time. So the three S's, sex, sandwiches, 
<laughs> and silence, okay? And let the comments begin, okay? It is all good. I've got thick skin. If you want to roast me in the comments, it's all good. But if you boil it down for what men really want in a relationship with a woman, there you go. Sex, sandwiches, and silence, all right? Now, it's a bit of a joke, but it is true. If you really boil it down, that's what we want. Obviously, this is an oversimplification, but it's very true. Sex, sandwiches, and silence. Most men are really that simple. They really are. So like, share, and subscribe to the podcast and this channel if you like the material. I'm sure I'm going to have plenty of haters in this one. It is all good. Bring it on. It was meant to be a humorous take and simple take on a pretty complex question. Take it or leave it. Join my private Facebook group, Marriage Isn't Dead. That's where I interact with my subscribers and people all over the world. If you're into relationships, improving your bedroom, bettering yourself, bettering your career, you're welcome. Uh, if you're all about being a better person, man or woman, come on in. There's plenty of people to talk to there, awesome people, and it's, it's, it's a wonderful time. So until next time, be better than you were yesterday and be desirable.